That's an excellent question and it really is true that center glass is more difficult to laminate in many aspects than standard PVB. And if we first think about what center glass has been designed for, it's to bring structural strength to the laminate. And the difference to standard PVB can be instantly seen even when you're comparing a piece of center glass to a piece of PVB in room temperature. And uh, the center glass, it's much stiffer material and it's also much uh, sli more slippery material than PVB. And uh, this can cause certain issues that you need to consider when producing center glass laminates throughout the process. So starting from the assembly room to the heating, pre-pressing and also autoclave. And if we consider now the assembly room and what kind of challenges center glass brings to the table. So first of all, when it's more slippery than normal PVB that people are mostly used to, it's much easier to see the top glass sliding on the foil than you would see with uh, PVB. And this means that it's really important to pay attention to having the glasses completely aligned and that you do not move the top glass, for example, during trimming. So it's quite easy to see that the top glass moves slightly or, for example, you're a bit pulling the, the edge of the center glass and then causing misalignment during trimming. So that's the first thing. The second one is that the trimming itself, it's a bit more difficult than with PVB. So it's harder to straight cut through the material and if you're trying to do that, that can cause some issues. Uh, so with center glass, you can kind of just make a pre-cut and then it's easy to just tear the piece away. So these are, I would say, the main things to take into account in the assembly room. The second part, uh, which I think is what this question is mostly directed towards, is the heating part. And while center glass is much stiffer in room temperature than PVB, when you start to heat it, it actually does get very soft very quickly and quicker than PVB does. And what this means is that it's much easier to get adhesion between the center glass and and the glass layer itself when you're comparing to PVB. And this leads to a situation that you often see that you, you have uh, trapped air in the trailing edge of the glass. And the reason for this is that the trailing edge might have been overheated a bit and it has been closed before you're able to do de-airing. So this basically means that the operating window with center glass is much narrower than with PVB. So it's very important to notice that it's possible to run center glass with the same setting as with PVB, but it might not be possible in certain areas of the PVB's operating range where higher temperatures still might be giving you okay quality. Uh, the third part is the autoclave, uh, which is actually what is often causing issues for companies who already have autoclaves and have been used to laminating PVB. And let's consider as an example an autoclave where you have a capacity of maximum 10 tons of glass per loading. And in this kind of case, it's quite easy to imagine that you can just load century glass laminates to the autoclave with the same capacity. But often that's not the case. And the reason is that century glass requires much more capability for heating and cooling during the cycle. So if you're trying to do it with the same recipes and same amounts of production as PVB, it often won't be won't be okay. So take this into, into consideration and a good rule of thumb is that you can normally utilize about 25% of the autoclave capacity for center glass if you have an autoclave that has been tailored for PVB production. And it's of course possible to take this into account uh, when you're purchasing a new autoclave. So you can have it equipped with more heating cap capability, more cooling capability to achieve also full uh, full cycles with uh, centric glass. So I would say these three are the main things that make centric glass lamination a bit more difficult than with PVB and uh, these are something you need to take into account in the in the production and, and it's also good to keep in mind that the interlayers do evolve all the time. So it's good to discuss with the interlayer manufacturers what kind of recommendations they have and for example now the Centric Glass Extra that has been out for a while should be much easier from the autoclase perspective than standard Centric Glass.